In this lesson, we're going to be going through the song Counting My Blessings by Seth Schluter and then Isadora Pompeo. So I'm going to show you guys how to play it. Um, I'll show you how to play it a couple of different ways. One is, one is an easy way, and then the other way is you're going to be using some different chord voicing, some chords up here higher on the neck, and it's going to sound exactly like what you're hearing in the actual song. So it's going to sound like this. So I'm gonna show you that way, and then I'm also gonna show you just the easier way if you're a beginner and you wanna play this song just with those regular chords in the key of G. The song is in the key of G, so all we need is four chords. We need just that G, the C, the D, and the E minor. So I'm gonna go through a couple of different ways you can play this song. You can pick it, you can strum it. Uh, so we're gonna get into all that. Okay, so first, the chords that we need. We need that G chord. We need the C chord. We need the D chord. And then we need the E minor chord. Only chords we need for this song. And as you can see, if you're a beginner or if you're, you're just starting to play again and you haven't played for a while, we're keeping these two fingers, the ring finger and the pinky finger, locked in on those two strings on the bottom. So all we're doing is changing these two fingers, the pointer and the middle finger. So it's gonna make things really simple for you so you can focus more on the picking pattern and more on the strumming. So um, for Seth Schluter's version of the song, um, it's just these chords in the key of G, no capo. Um, the other version, the Isadora, Pompeo version, you can use those same chords and then just put the capo on the sixth fret and then use those same chords. You can use the same picking pattern, the same strumming I'm gonna show you. So just if you wanted to play along with her version on YouTube and Spotify and stuff, you would put the capo on the sixth fret and just follow everything that we're about to break down in this video. All right, so we're gonna go through the easy version first. Uh, the chords up here, and then we're gonna go through these chords up here afterwards, once we get the rhythm down. The timing of the song is kinda tricky. It took me a little while to figure it out with just, you know, the, the lyrics really flow quickly and they come in on different parts of the chords and when the chord is played. So if you get frustrated or if you get um, challenged by this song, um, just, it, it's a challenging song to get the timing down and I, struggled with it for a little while too. So just don't be uh, too hard on yourself when you're working through the timing of this song. So the easy way to play it, let's just go through um, the chords and I'm gonna have the chords and the lyrics up on the screen. That way you can follow along. These chords, I've got the chord chart um, that you're gonna see up on the screen on my Patreon page that you can download, um, you can print off. You can put some strumming notes, some arrows, some up downs. So just know that that's available for you also if you need that as a resource. So we're just gonna go through, just down strum wise, this first verse, cause it's a little bit tricky. So he starts off on the G and then it comes in. It's like it was yesterday. I was praying for a miracle. Scared to have a little hope. Now looking back today, seeing all the things you've done, and I can't even add them up one. So that goes into the pre-chorus. So there's a lot we're gonna go through in this lesson, so I'm not gonna spend any more time going through where those chord changes are on the strumming. I wanna show you some of the picking here. So the picking, we're just gonna keep it really simple. We're in our finger picking position over here on the right hand side, this thumb, is gonna be assigned to the top three strings based on the bass note of the chord. This pointer finger, always gonna be locked in and plucking that third string, the G string. We've got the middle finger right beneath that on the B string. And then I've got my ring finger and my pinky finger like stabilizing my position here. And sometimes I'll pluck that high E string with my ring finger. 
So the pattern is just gonna be really simple. It's gonna be this. So thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. Thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. So. And we're doing that second thumb on the D string, so. And then for the D chord, we're plucking the D string for the bass note. Same pattern. And then for the E minor chord, we're up here, back to that low E string, plucking that E string first. And then it goes back to the D. So it would sound like this. Now, if you wanted to just add in one extra note, you would just be plucking this ring, this pointer finger on the G string after you do the. And then if you wanted to add that high, that high E string there with that ring finger, you definitely could. So if you're playing through this, it would sound like something like this. So the intro and the getting started, it was the hardest part for me, uh, figuring out that timing. So you're gonna pluck this G, this G chord five times, and then you go to the D. So D gets once, E minor gets three times gets once again. So it would sound something like this. It's like it was yesterday. I was praying for a miracle. Scared to have a little hope. And now looking back today, seeing all the things you've done. And I can't even add a mama one. So we're getting into the pre-chorus. Same thing, same picking pattern. One, two, three, and up to infinity. I'd run out of numbers before I could thank you for everything. God, I'm still counting my blessing. Chorus, same picking pattern. God, I'm still counting my blessings. All that you've done in my life. The more that I look in the details, the more of your goodness I find. But Father, on this side of heaven, I know that I run out of time, but I will keep counting my blessings, knowing I can't count that high. I know that it's easy. So that will get us into verse two, um, which we'll do some strumming. So um, yeah, that shows you just the easy way to strum, or easy way to finger pick this song. Um, the the way that you hear it in the in the song, in the YouTube version, in the Spotify. Let's go through that because that's the fun part. So we're gonna be up here. This pinky finger is gonna be our anchor anchor. Um, finger, our anchor note, it's going to be sliding on this B string the whole time. So this pinky finger on the 12th fret, pointer finger on the A string, 10th fret. So that's your G. It's like it was yesterday. And then we're going to slide down, keep this pinky finger there, we're going to slide down two frets. And now it's gonna be on the 10th fret, and we're gonna bring this ring finger up to that low E string. So, 
And that's gonna be your D chord. So it would sound. It's like it was yesterday. I was praying for a. So down to this E minor now. Keep the pinky finger there. Slide it down two more frets. So now we're on the eighth fret, pinky finger. Then we're gonna bring this middle finger to the seventh fret on the A string. Um, so that's gonna be your E minor. And then we're gonna go back to the D. So all together, that would sound like this. It's like it was yesterday. I was praying for a miracle. Scared to have a little hope. And now looking back today, seeing all the things you've done. And I can't even add them up. One, two, three, up to infinity. I'd run out of numbers. Or I could thank you for everything. So that's the only change on the pre-chorus. That's your C. We're at this E minor right here. Don't move the pinky finger. Just bring that ring finger up to the eighth fret. So you got the ring finger and the pinky finger on the eighth fret. That's your C. So again, I can't go through much more detail of these chords and the finger placement in this video because there's Still some more I wanna to get to. I've done a video on some of these chord voicings in the key of G. They're really cool, they're really nice to practice on. Um, showing you a breakdown of, of my finger placement, different chords, like that D, um, C, D, even some ones I didn't get into in this lesson. So I'll link that video in the description. I would definitely check it out because it's gonna make these chords here just sound a little bit different and give it a little bit more of a different and a cool um, sound and cool voicing. So if we're gonna finger pick these chords up here, we do the same pattern. Same pattern as we were doing down here. Thumb, pointer, thumb is gonna be, you're gonna be kind of muting that A string, um, or that D string, so. So it would sound like this. It's like it was yesterday. I was praying for a miracle. Scared to have a little hope. And now looking back today, seeing all the things you've done. I can't even add them up. One, two, three, up to infinity. I'd run out of numbers. Oh, I could thank you for everything God, I'm still counting my blessings Of all that you've done in my life The more that I look in the detail The more of your goodness I find Father, on this side of heaven I know that I run out of time but I won't keep counting my blessings Knowing I can't count that high And then, so that'll go into some strumming for verse two um, and the pre-chorus and the second chorus. So let's get into some of that strumming. Um, let's start with the, uh, the verse. So we'll go with verse two. And I know the seasons never last forever God, I will remember all of the reasons My heart has to be grateful for all the times of faith on me And God, I'm still counting my blessings So for this first two, a couple of ways you can do it You can just do down strums like that and I know the seasons never last forever So 
God, I will remember all of the reasons my heart has to be grateful for the times you've been faithful to me. God, I'm still counting my blessings. So you can like maybe rewind that see how many down strums I'm doing for each chord there. Um, I'll play through it one more time. And I know that it's seasons never last forever So God I will remember and all of the reasons my heart has to be grateful all the times you've been faithful to me God I'm still counting my blessings all that you've done in my life The more that I look in the details The more of your goodness I find Father on this side of heaven I know that I run out of time But I will keep counting my blessings Knowing I can't count that high So I'm gonna just slow that down and play through it one more time without singing, just cause I know strumming is hard and challenging. So if we're doing the verse two into the chorus. And I know the seasons. So God, I will remember. All the time you've been faithful to me God I'm still my blessings that I look in the details they're on this side of heaven Tag. No, I can't count that high. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three, and up to infinity. I'd run out of numbers before I could thank you for everything. God, I'm still counting my blessings. So just going through that chorus tag, um, we just go through it once, and it's just the same chords and the same strumming as the chorus. So I'm not exactly sure how he sings some of those parts, like, oh, your goodness, your goodness, whatever he's singing and saying there. But if we're coming out of the chorus, into that chorus tag, and then we go back into the pre-chorus of a breakdown, let me just walk you through that. So the coming out of the chorus, Father on this side of heaven, I know that I'll run out of time. Different strum pattern here. You can just go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down if you want to as well. So, Father on this side of heaven, I know that I'll run out of time, but I will keep counting my blessings, knowing I can't count that high chorus tag. Oh, I can't count that high. down one two three and up to infinity i'd run out of numbers before i could thank you for everything god i'm still counting my blessing so then that goes back into a full chorus one more time 
and then it ends. So I know that was a lot in there, but this is a fun song with a lot of different ways you can play it, whether you're a beginner or whether you're an intermediate player or you're seeing these chord shapes and chord voicings for the first time. So um, hopefully that helped you out. If you need the chord charts, again, they're on my Patreon page. Link for that is in the description below. Um, and if you have any questions, leave a comment and let me know.